Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to start a Lego city from scratch as quickly as possible on a budget that your average Lego fan can afford. Let's get into it. If you just started your Lego city, or maybe you're thinking about starting one soon, I'm gonna tell you five tips for how you can get going on a Lego city for as cheap as possible. If you haven't seen this channel before, welcome to New Brickerton. My name is Michael. I got sunburned this week. It's not good, it's very stupid. I do not recommend it. It is not good for your health to get sunburned. Anyway, I started this Lego city a year ago. It wasn't the most conventional Lego city ever. I didn't have any modular buildings. I just had a bunch of random Lego sets that I had picked up without the intention of building them into a city. But I think it was when I started getting those uh, sets that had the new 2021 road plate packs in them. I think that's when I was truly inspired to build a Lego city. I'm gonna give you guys some pointers for how you can start a Lego city right now with the sets you already have and with as a little additional investment as possible. Let's go ahead and jump into these tips. Tip number one is start small. It's easy to get discouraged looking around on social media, seeing all these massive Lego cities with incredible Lego rooms and feel like you're never gonna be able to make your own Lego city. The reality is you can start a Lego city right now with just two things, a building and a road. When I first started New Brickerton, I just had a pack of road plates, a few small Lego city buildings, and a piece of the Hogwarts castle. I just threw them together on my kitchen table because I decided I wanted to make a city, and I did it. That small village has blossomed into a thriving city in just a year, and to be honest, the city didn't even look very good when I first started. <laughs> it's a lot bigger now, it's starting to get some details, and it's crazy how much it has grown in a year, and it's also crazy how much I've learned about building and detailing the city in that time. So grab a few small sets, grab some roads, and just set them down next to each other. That's it. That's as simple as it is to start a Lego city. And I promise after you take this first step, you will immediately start to visualize how to improve what you've made and what to add to it next. You will immediately see a way forward with your Lego city. You'll also need a table of some sort. I'm sure you can figure that part out. So start small and start as soon as possible. Start right after watching this video, right when it's over, start a Lego city. Tip number two, use what you have. I included the words on a budget in this video's title, and what's an easier way to stay on budget than by adding a cost of zero dollars to your bottom line. The great thing about Lego is, Lego pieces are infinitely customizable. You can use assembled sets in your city. You can part your sets out and use them in entirely new and interesting ways. If you have any Lego Creator 3-in-1 sets, you can use alternative versions of those sets that may fit better into your city, or you can make your own mocks using those parts. I use the parts from this ice cream truck to build this little ice cream shop for my city. Another great resource is Rebrickable. You can search on there for sets that you own and people will post alternative builds with those pieces. You can also enter the pieces you have in your inventory into rebrickable.com and it will tell you options of what you can build with the parts that you already have. When you don't wanna to pay too much, be creative about using what you already own. Tip number three, fill in the gaps of Lego City sets. What do I mean by this? I think a main complaint against modern Lego City sets or even just the ones from the last few years, as Lego sets get smaller and prices get higher, Lego City sets will often be incredibly abbreviated. You'll get the suggestion of a building or the suggestion of the section of the city, but it's just a small piece of it. The building may be as small as four studs deep and it's your job to build out the missing pieces from those sets to incorporate them into your city. You can modify smaller Lego sets to be more integrated into your city by doing things like making a yard and a driveway if it's a house, adding sidewalks between your houses, adding details and vegetation, adding extra walls to sets so they look good from every single side. Just going that extra little mile to turn your Lego sets from separate entities into one cohesive city, it can really elevate the look and feel of your Lego town. And I think it makes it feel a lot more cohesive. Tip number four, be creative with how you source your parts. 
The reality is we spend all this money on Lego and when we assemble our city, probably not even half the Lego bricks are visible to your eyes. So be creative with how you get your bricks and how you use them. Consider buying used parts from Bricklink instead of new parts. I just put in a huge Bricklink order and I went with used parts because they're cheaper and most of the time um, they'll probably be in spots that you won't even see them or notice them. So if they are damaged or scuffed up in any way because they're used, most of the time it won't matter and you can just put your nicer looking bricks in the sections that are visible. Another way to quickly gain some parts is to look on things like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. People will sometimes sell their bulk Lego on there for five or $10 a pound unsorted. And if you're looking for some extra parts, that's a really cheap and effective way to quickly gain some parts in your inventory, especially if you don't care what color you get. Tip number five, consider alternative brands. Okay, 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 okay. I couldn't decide whether to put this one first or last, so I put it last so no one clicks away too soon from this video, but it needs to be said, if you're building out a Lego city, the number one way to bring down the cost is to actually not use Lego pieces. You can do a whole video on the advantages of Lego bricks over their competitors' products. They're better in every single way, but cost is the, really the number one reason why you should consider buying alternative products. Some of these products are actually really good. They have good designs, they're good value for your money, and in a city when you're mostly focused on what it looks like, the pieces don't actually look that different from Lego pieces when they're in a build. And if you're cheap like me, you should seriously consider uh, doing some research into this. And can we just talk about this for a second? Can we just talk about this? Isn't it kind of crazy that a base plate from Lego is like $7, but I can get eight of these third-party base plates for like 20 bucks on Amazon from a different company. I definitely recommend using third-party base plates when you're starting your city. If nothing else, it's gonna save you a lot of money in the short term, and you can always go back and replace them with real Lego later on if you really want to. There are a lot of really cool alternative sets that I found on Amazon, all the way from tree packs you can buy to add some plant life to your city, fences, cheap masonry bricks for $12, these $47 modulars I did a video on, and there's a bunch of other really cool stuff out there if you have an open mind. So I'll leave a few links down below for my favorite alternative Lego products that I've found, and let me know if you guys have any other recommendations down below in the comments. That's all I've got for these tips, you guys. In addition to sharing my own LEGO City updates on this channel, I want this channel to be a resource for anyone who is trying to start a slightly unconventional LEGO City and people who are budget-minded. If you guys have any questions that you'd like me to answer in a future video, feel free to leave it in a comment down below. In addition to that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we've got some awesome content coming out soon, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.